Hi, I'm Chip Reeves. I've been helping people use their business technology for over 25 years. And I'm Jason Farr, and I'm here to learn how to manage your email using Outlook. Now, I think I know the answer to this already, but why should we care about managing our email? Well, have you ever had someone tell you that their favorite thing to do is to work on their email? <laughs> no. No, it, it never happens. But it's kind of surprising, really, because, I mean, email is this amazing thing. It lets us easily and quickly and virtually for free communicate with anybody all around the world. Right. It's an amazingly powerful tool. We should be more excited about using it, and yet it's turned into this really high-tech chore. Right, it has. That's very true. The reason people don't rave about how great email is is because in our modern workplace and in our modern personal life, email has become a really big source of stress. The problem is, studies show that the average working age adult spends at least an hour a day just managing their email. On top of that, we get constant notifications from our computer, from our phone, from our tablet every time an email comes in. So many psychologists recommend minimizing your notifications, limiting yourself to certain times of the day when you're going to work on your email. And I think we can all agree that's a good idea. But even if you do limit the time you spend on email, many people are still intimidated by their email inbox. So why is it so intimidating to deal with your emails? Well, you have to realize that people tend to fall into one of three categories when it comes to how they deal with their email inbox. The first are what I call the hoarders. These are people who still have every email they've ever received, and most of them are sitting there in their inbox. Right. They keep everything. Exactly. <laughs> I, I've worked with clients that literally have 10,000 emails staring them in the face every time they open their email application. Mm -hmm. That's intimidating. It's stressful. And it causes three significant problems. The first problem is it makes it easy to miss new emails coming in. Mm -hmm. Basically, those needles get lost in the haystack, especially when you have 10,000 emails sitting there. The second is it makes it hard to identify the emails that do require you to respond. Mm -hmm. Most of those 10,000 emails, I would say almost all of those 10,000 emails, are not anything that you need to worry about anymore. But they're still there, and mm -hmm. they're equally important as the important email. So you have to kind of sift through and see. And the third is it makes it hard to search. If you ever need to search for an email from a particular person or about a particular project, and all you have is one big pot of 10,000 emails, it can be really hard to find what you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Plus, there are a lot of psychological studies that show it's just depressing and stressful to be faced with that mountain of email every day. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Sure. And on top of that, depending on your email situation, depending on your computer system, if you have more than about 5,000 emails in your system, you could notice your computer going significantly slower than it would if you had fewer. Mm -hmm. And then there are the people that have the exact opposite problem. And let me guess, instead of keeping everything, they delete everything. Right. And while I find there's a lot fewer deleters than hoarders, it's still a big problem. So the typical deleter, what they do is they check their email every day and they read through the emails. They kind of action whatever needs to be done in the ones that they see. And then they delete everything. Mm. So on the one hand, it's less stressful because every time when they come in, they don't have that giant mountain of email facing them. I guess that means they'll never miss any new emails coming in. Correct, but it also means they might delete emails before they've fully finished working on them, or they might delete something that had important information they're going to need later on. Mm. So while they don't have that intimidating mountain of email every morning, they also don't have the ability to go back and look at old emails to make sure they got things done or to look for important information that was missed. I used to work with a deleter, and it was really annoying because every week I would get emails from them saying, hey, can you email me that thing you just emailed me last week? because they'd already deleted it. Right. So hoarders are bad, deleters are bad. What's the alternative? Well, the alternative is to actually manage your email, to be a manager. And in this course, what we're going to look at are some techniques to help you manage your email effectively. A good email manager is someone who spends at least a little time organizing and controlling their email so that it's less stressful and more productive. An email manager needs a good email management strategy. And a good email management strategy has three goals. Number one, to keep our inbox clean so that incoming email isn't missed. Number two, to easily identify the emails that require attention or action. And number three, to be able to find important emails in the future. A good email manager is someone who's striving for what we refer to as inbox zero. Mm -hmm. Inbox zero is kind of this uh, mythical thing where your inbox has zero emails in it. 
But that's a really good way to manage your email. If you know that your inbox has zero emails when you close down for the day, then the next day when you come in, you get that nice clean inbox with just the newest emails with the same benefits as a deleter, but you've still got all your old emails safely organized and filed away where you can get them when you need them. Now a true inbox zero is really difficult to achieve, but the closer you get, the more productive you'll be. In this course, we're going to look at some tools, some techniques, and some strategies to get to Inbox Zero, specifically using Microsoft Outlook and Office 365. So let's get started. Great.